Hello there guys, welcome back to another short online tutorial. Today we're based in Adobe Illustrator and it's Jack from Blue Sky Graphics. Now if I was to ask you guys, pick a font off the top of your head. Most of you would say Myriad Pro because that's the default font type that we use when we use the type tool within Illustrator. So for example, now if I was to click, as you can see now, I'm going to type in Blue Sky Graphics. We have a Myriad Pro font. Now, let's say, for instance, I didn't want to have that as the default font. What we can do in Illustrator is we can change our default font so it makes your workflow a lot smoother. So, in a sense, if you were start, if you had built a visual language, i.e., picking a font for a particular brand, and you were continuously designing on multiple files, you can just simply change the default uh, font. Very easy. So what I'm going to do now is bring out our first of all, bring out our character window. And there's two ways to do it. You can either go here and click character or the shortcut to do that is command T. OK, now the font that I quite like to use is Coco Goose. So let's see if it's in here. No, it's not. So we're going to find that now. Coco Goose like so. OK, wonderful. Now, with that still selected, what I'm going to do now is bring out our character styles. So what we need to do is go to Window, Type, and your character styles here. Let's attach that to the bottom there, just so that we work all organized. And then what we do is come to our burger icon up here, like so. And what we're going to do is come to Character Style Options. And what will happen is your character style options will appear. So what we can do now is really style the font, the default font, to suit your brand. So if we come to basic character formats, we can now change this. I want that to be Coco Goose, please. Wonderful. And we have the chance to manipulate the size, the kerning, the spacing between lettering, leading the spacing between lines. OK, and really build and design our uh, options here. We have also underline if we'd like to apply an underline. At the moment, I'm not going to say underline is an option that I would like to use. Now, if I was to press OK, fantastic. Now, to show you that our default setting now for our font family will be Coco Goose. As you can see, very simply now, I have changed. And if I spell my name correctly, there we go. Very easy, guys. So if you're interested in finding out more about Blue Sky Graphics, take a look at our website, www.blueskygraphics.co.uk. Take a look at our socials as well. Our Instagram page is Blue Sky Graphics UK. And really have a look at our uh, videos that come out on a weekly basis. Some really interesting information that can help you with your uh, workflow and your creative process. Thank you very much, guys. Take care, and I'll see you next time.